Okay, so here we have our WLAN working process number two. This is where we are going to do a WLAN service configuration delivery. In this stage, the AC sent a configuration update request to an AP. So the AC is going to send to the AP and the AP is going to confirm that the configuration is received. So if the AC receive a configuration update response from the AP, the AC then deliver the configuration file to the AP. And for us to do this uh, working process number two, here we have more uh, steps. So various profiles, the keyword here is the profiles here. And they mentioned that we have various, that means that more than one profile that we need to create are designed based on different function and feature of wireless LAN network to help users configure and maintain function of WLAN network. These profiles are called WLAN profiles. This is where things are a little bit more complicated. Now, since then, we are going to create so many profiles, all right, including the regulatory domain profile, radio profile, uh, the virtual AP profile, other profile or radio parameters. For us to make our life easier, we can use AP or AP groups. So let's look into the detail. So just now I already mentioned about the profiles. The first thing is the, the country. So this is where we have to tell them what is the country good, what is the collaboration channel, the bandwidth for an AP that is on the regulatory domain profile. Then we have a radio profile. This is where we are going to configure the radio specific parameters to optimize the radio parameters and the channel. Then we also have our uh, virtual AP. This is where we are going to configure our VAP profile and the SSID security profile and authentication profile. And we also have other profile such as the AP system profile, location profile, WIDS profile, mesh profile, and etc. And finally, we have our radio uh, parameters, which include the bandwidth, the channel, the antenna, the transmit power, the distance, the operating frequency, uh, frequency band. Okay, so you can see that there are tons of configuration that you need to configure. So if you are going to configure the AC, so I want you to remember all these steps. Now, some of this profile is not necessary for you to configure. And if you do not configure, then they will use the default. All right, for example, if you do not configure anything on the regulatory domain, you will follow the China. And if you do not follow the radio profile, they will use their default uh, profile. We will look into the detail later on. Uh, don't let this overwhelm you. So let's look into more detail on what we call the VAP profile because this is where we have to configure our SSID, all right? So virtual AP is where you are going to create the SSID profile. So an SSID specified the wireless network. When you search your network, you need to use the SSID. The station will look into your SSID. So that is your uh, VAP. That's the first thing you need to do is to create the SSID profile. Then you need to create a security profile. So you create a security profile to authenticate the STA, such as uh, what is the encryption screen you are going to use, what the pre-check key that you are going to use. So this is very important. Uh, this is where the key for your security uh, is configured in the security profile here. So it is protecting the security of wireless LAN and the user. Then we can configure the uh, data forwarding mode. We can configure the control packet and the data packet. And finally, we also can configure the service, which in this case, our VLAN. So layer two are uh, delivered from the VAP to AP carrying the service VLAN. So we need to identify what VLAN ID that we are using for this VAP profiles. 